Hello, this video is to talk about how to fix the problem I've mentioned in previous videos about the contact lens feature and when you use it how sometimes it bleeds into the eyelashes and by that I mean the color kind of overlaps into the eyelashes. I actually um, got a message out to the people at Portrait Pro and they've been really helpful and I explained to them, I showed them by video what my problem was and they told me how to fix it so this video will be me trying to fix it so we'll learn something together here okay um, so let's open up Portrait Pro 15 okay you go here to open image and let me go find a picture that I want to use I'm going to use the same picture I used in my eye enhancement tutorial the one where I had the problem with the contact lenses and that should be here there she is let's load up the program okay that was the program finding faces in the image and I've mentioned in just about every video these blue lines here these lines define how the program reads the person's face shape and facial features and it doesn't have to be a thousand percent precise but it should be pretty accurate and the people at Portrait Pro said that probably what I did was I didn't look at my blue lines closely enough and they may not have been exactly on the upper eye properly so we're gonna do this together and let's see what happens so let's select um, discard outlines I could accept here and just hit female and let the program itself define the, her facial features and face shape for me but let's do what they said let's do discard outlines alright now we've discarded outline and we're going to select female and you just follow the prompts over here and they give you a sample picture to work by it says click on the left corner of the left eye of your subject so let's go right exactly where they say now we click on the other eye not too far right there and now it says click on the tip of the nose of your subject so let's go right there uh, I guess that's good now click on the left corner of the mouth of your subject right there click on the other corner of the mouth alright okay I see what they're talking about once you do that it kind of zooms into the eye area so let's put everything pretty accurate let's pull this eyebrow down here push it up a tad here that's pretty close and as I said it doesn't have to be precise but I see exactly what they meant now if you look at this blue outline on my screen above her um, pupil the ridge of her eye the curve here I see exactly why it happens see that it wasn't placed properly on her eye it was too high so the program didn't know how to read the blue line selection so let's adjust it like the person told me pull it down here pull it down here and as you can see it's a little weirdness here pull that up slightly we're gonna be very accurate this time and we're going to pick where everything kinda lays so let's make it perfect as we can Pull that up a tiny bit. I think that's pretty close. Uh, pull that down a tiny bit more. That's what she said to make sure everything's lined up perfectly. Uh, all right, not perfect, but pretty close. All right, now the program says to hit next to do the other eye. Now, and I had mentioned in a previous video about that hair issue where a lady's hair was laying over her eye and when I finished my final photo enhancement some of her eye lashes was laying on top of her hair which looked kind of bizarre close up so let's exactly adjust these brows and get it off the uh, subject's hair okay again not precise but as close as we can um, here we go close enough now again if you look at her right eye same problem these blue lines that define everything aren't properly laid out so let's fix these by pulling the little squares down here here 
that, um, that, and this in a tiny bit. That, maybe a little. Okay, we'll see what happens now. It says, hit next. All right, it says, is the mouth open or closed? This person's, in our picture, the mouth is closed. So we select, well, it's sl very slightly open, but we're not going to stress about that. So let's hit mouth closed. It's pretty much closed. And let's fix the lip lines. As you can see, it's too far down beneath her lip. We're going to pull it up to exactly where her lip line ends on the bottom. Here. Okay. And top lip, fix a little. Um, and as you can see, it's a tiny opening in her mouth, but I don't think that's an issue. But let's pull this line down right there. Now, look at her nose lines. They look pretty good, but let's pull this up a tiny bit to where her nose really is. Pull these down a little. Pull that. Okay. That should be good. Now, we're done with our blue lines. Oops, let's see one more thing. So maybe it is better when you use this program. If you want to do a lot of enhancements, you define your own blue lines and don't let the program define it for you. That way you can place them more accurately. All right. Let's hit next. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, everything looks good. Well, not quite. Look at this. Right here on her chin. Let's pull that over a little bit. And her hair is over her face, so I'm going to leave those where they are. But I did adjust the chin lines ever so slightly. Now we can hit next. And it loads up. All right. Now, the view we need right now, we're just going to use view after only to see our enhanced image. Let's zoom into her eye area with the zoom bar, um, button up here. See? Zoom close as you can. And then put your crosshairs on your square to move around her face and get her eyes right in frame so we can see what we're working on. There we go. Now, let's go down to our eye controls. Uh, scroll down until you get to add contact lens. And I'm going to do the same thing I did in the previous video. Drop down, hit brown. And I'll even make it a little darker so we can really see what happens here. Okay? Here we go. Uh, all right. It is laid out better, but if you notice, I guess because I define the blue lines myself based on my perspective, there's a little bit of her gray showing above the brown contact. So we're going to use the feature contact lens scale, and let's see if we can fix that a bit. No, see, it makes it wider. All right. So let's lay it right there. Everything looks perfect other than this here and here. I don't think it's a big deal, but let's go for it. All right. So let's do view before and view after again so we can see both pictures. Now, if you hover over your original image, you get your blue lines back, right? So let's zoom in a little more. Okay. See the blue lines? Let's see. If we pull her eyelids down a tiny bit, or no, up rather, if that fixes the problem. Let's see. How about, mm-hmm. Okay, I pulled that one up a tiny bit. Pulled that up a tiny, tiny bit, but not too much. I think I did it too much. Yeah, see? Yep, program works fine. It was something I did wrong. All right, let's see. This one... Pull up a little. Not much because we don't want the eye color to bleed into her eyelashes again. All right. I think that worked. Now let's go back to our view after only view. Zoom into her eyes. That did it. That's exactly what it was. So I think if you're going to do a major enhancement on a face, you should define your own blue lines. And I just showed you how to do that, but I'll show it again in the next tutorial. So Portrait Pro people are the bomb. They are very helpful, and they have been to me. And what they told me to do worked perfectly. Her eyes look great. All right? As you can see, there seems to be no bleeding of her eye color into her lashes. And if you move it over... There's also no bleeding of her eyebrows, which are very dark compared to her hair. There's no bleeding into her hair. So that solved the problem. 
There's a thin line between reality and psychosis. Please subscribe. <laughs>